For my first year of trialling, I was actually gifted. A friend of mine was a really successful photographer as well. Is now can I give him his credits? His name is Finley Mackay, and he's oh yeah, he was one of the UK's best fashion photographers at the time. He was in the top game, and he actually gave me a Canon One D uh -huh. uh, S, right? Oh yeah, and he just gave me it, and he said he was just on loan, and I had it, and I was hiring lenses. And while I was using that, I was deliberating on what to get because I knew I had to buy my own camera at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, and I. I was deliberating over the D750 and the Canon equivalent, which I can't remember at the moment. Yeah. And it was took me so long, and I and I actually chose the D750 over the Canon because of the low light capabilities. Oh yeah. At that point, I knew that I wanted to shoot low light. Yeah, I was yeah. doing a few gigs here and there. Yeah. And I went and I got the D750, and and, and at that point, I just I committed. And it was an interesting journey because once I invested then in lenses, yeah, you're kind of committed. Oh yeah. I was brought up during analog days, full time. Mm. At that time, there was no such thing as digital. And I had a lot of fun using those cameras because mm. everything was manual. But then changing over from analog to digital, it took me a while before I got used to the idea. Mm -hmm. Because to me, it was like everything done for me. Uh, I think I have a lot of respect for the analog generation, I, I do, and I loved it. And if, if anybody ever asks me how to become a better photographer, I say shoot film. Yeah, right. I, I think that the the nature of um, patience that's required to take a photograph with uh, 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 while I love the FM2 is it's most the most basic camera. And I'll be honest, I use this like I use my FM2. Yeah. I don't use too many functions on it, I'm, but the the FM2 taught me how to take pictures, right? Because it's such a perfunctory piece of kit, right. very hard wearing, beautifully made. And uh, and so I have so much respect for that. Photography in London, there's a lot of fashion photographers and art photographers use film still. There's a lot yeah. of medium format films still oh, yeah. get shot. Even now? Yeah, yeah, more, more and more now. Really? Yeah, yeah. So are they, would you say that they're trying to go back to analog or? No, I think the no. aesthetic is what they're after. Uh -huh. and, and the feel of the camera, it's, a yeah. more of, it's more of a creative process. I do agree with that completely. Yeah. Um, I also think though that the modern world moves on and, and we as a function in society have become, everything is becoming, uh, we need things quickly. You know, yeah, we, yeah. We, we are, we are, we are a, a society which requires immediate turnaround. And as I was working, uh, I was doing a documentary project in China and I did the first part of it in uh, film. And I came back and I was like, I want to shoot this in digital because the, I was, I was missing stuff and I wasn't getting the things that I wanted. And actually, I'm a commercial photographer now. Oh yeah. I work in the commercial world. The The need for film is less and less and less. And we face yeah. a few specific clients will ask for it. Mm. There's a validity in, in digital that fits with the modern world. 